Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python 3.8.2, which is the latest release of Python 3 on Microsoft Windows 10. If you have Microsoft Windows 8, 8.1 or 8, you should not have any issue downloading and installing Python 3 with me. So let's go ahead and launch the browser. So I'm going to use Google Chrome. You can use any browser that you like to use. Now, once you have your browser up, go ahead and pull up this website, python.org, which is official website for Python. Now, once your Python website is up here on your preferred browser, go ahead and put your cursor on this download button do not click it just put over this button download and then scroll down to windows and hit windows button so click on the windows button and on this page you will see it says python releases for windows so there are two releases available for download uh, the very first on the top is the latest python 3 release which is 3.8.2 if you want to download and install Python 2 for whatever reason you come here and down click on this Python 2 to release button which gives you download link for Python 2.7.17 alrighty so for this video we are going to download uh, 3.8.2 and install it on this operating system so this is Microsoft Windows 10 before we go ahead and download the Python we want to make sure we download the right uh, kind of package so once you are here on this uh, python 3.8.2 page go ahead and scroll down to this files section here and you will see and this is source release for uh, in gzipped uh, uh, folder then you got xz compressed source again this is not for us then we have mac mac os x 64 bit installer you can, if you're using mac you can go ahead and download it and install it with this now comes the windows section and you can see we have multiple lines here so these here the bottom three three at the bottom are the 32 bit downloads so go ahead and check your system type let me go ahead and check on my system so go ahead and click on this start menu just right click on it right click on it and then go to systems system not systems now if you're not using microsoft windows 10 i'll show you how you can uh, check the system type so this is system type 64 bit operating system 64 bit based processor so now i know my system type here um, the other way you can check your system type look at the keyboard i'm going to give you two buttons to press together so the very first one is windows key which you can find on the right bottom of the keyboard so hold it down and look at the right top of the keyboard just above the numeric keys you have a pause break button so go ahead and press both keys together windows key and pause break button now you can see your system type here as well it says 64 bit operating system if you can't find it that's perfectly fine go ahead and click on the start menu and then go to control and then you go to system and security and here you simply click on system right so you now know system type so mine is 64 bit if your is 32 bit go back to this download page uh, files section and download 32 bit installer from here and 64 bit from here so there are three links download links one is the zip file if you want to download on this computer and port it to other computer that's perfectly fine but i would suggest you go ahead and download this one uh, executable installer it does the same thing 
it downloads the the compiled version of Python so you simply have to download it and install it on different computers if you have to if you have internet connection on the computer where you want to install it you, you can go ahead and use the web-based installer this is for 32-bit I'm going to download the 64-bit same goes with the 64-bit operating system you can install the executable installer download the executable installer or the web-based installer so I'm going to use a web-based installer I'm going to click the download button for web-based installer and it doesn't take long time once it's downloaded since I'm using Google Chrome I have access to this download uh, package from this very interface now in case if you're not using Google Chrome browser go ahead and locate this downloaded package and then just double click on it now, once you double click on it you might get a window that says user account control say yes now once you get this installation wizard or setup wizard very first thing that you want to do make sure you check this box add Python 3.8 to path this will make sure that the Python is set to the systems variable path automatically you don't have to do it manually so make sure you check this box now if your system has not a lot of space and you do not want the documentation go ahead and uncheck it the rest of things are just fine you should not customize it but I have enough space I'm not going to uncheck it so very thing that you want to make sure you have checked this add Python 3.8 to the path and then simply go ahead and say install now here now you again get this user account control say yes this process is going to take approximately a minute if you are using web-based installer um, depending on the internet speed of your service provider or of your plan it may take some time so on my system approximately a minute it's going to take a minute or so maximum and it's just trying to install the test suite so what we are going to do after installing this python 3.8 what I'm going to do, I'm quickly going to check the version of Python that has been installed. I'm also going to check the pip, which is Python uh, package manager that is installed with this Python installer. And then we are quickly going to write a hello world kind of test uh, script or software, whatever you call it. And then we will learn to execute Python file with command prompt so we are almost done here you can see it says installing Python 3.8.2 pip bootstrap so that was the pip I was talking about uh, it's it's the package manager for Python a lot of people leave in the comment that how to install pip so pip is already part of Python 3.8.2 now you will see this setup was successful you can go ahead and close it and launch your terminal so terminal is basically command prompt if you don't have it pinned here go ahead and click on the start menu and type cmd hit enter again and you will see your Python uh, sorry command prompt up here one more thing as soon as you install Python on your system by default it adds few things here so you can see I've got the manual pinned uh, recently added in the recently added list I can go ahead and check the manual so you can see it says Python 3.8.2 documentation so you can check everything anything almost that is part of Python that these are packages that you get with Python uh, these are the modules you can see here so these modules can be used without installing with Python okay these are 
part of core python 3.8 now you can check all the modules okay so if you want to check what's new in python go ahead and check the release now alrighty so that's the documentation that gets downloaded and installed when you install python by default if you just do not uncheck it it will be installed now let's go ahead and check the python version so simply type python then give a space and then uh, hyphen and uppercase v you can also say version like that and there's something wrong here i'm going to say uppercase v so what it required is double hyphen now it's the same thing okay so you got python inter uh, you can get into python interactive shell just by typing python and say uh, let me just clear the screen first so you can get into the python's um, interactive shell just by typing python in command prompt and hit it and hitting enter so this is going to be an interactive python shell if i just want to execute some arithmetic operations i can do and you can see it works now i can exit of this uh, interactive shell and let me go ahead and quickly write a hello world python script or programs i've got something on the desktop i've got a sandbox folder then i've got python box i want to open this in vs code so here we are and i should have something already here now i can go ahead and close this command prompt what happened now this is hello world python extension loading uh, okay so this is very specific to this vs code i'm going to just uncheck it so now this is uh, the file that i have just created and i've written print hello world or i can say name achievement and then I can come back here and I can say name save it and I'm quickly going to execute it so to execute it you simply navigate to this uh, root folder of the Python program and then say python name of the and then name of the uh, file and you can see it works perfectly fine so this is how you download and install python 3.8.2 on microsoft windows 7 8 8.1 and 10 and this is how you make sure the python is installed and it's working across the system no matter where you are so that's all for this video if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment below if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel as well thank you so much for watching again and have a good day bye for now